Welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions that you have related to electrical and life safety. Today I'm going to be talking about maintaining access for fire department connections. And I'm going to be using NFPA Link, which is our easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards. When a fire department is responding to an emergency or a fire, we know that every second counts. So say if I were a building owner or facility manager, I want to make sure that I do everything possible to make sure that I give the fire department everything they need in the case of an emergency. And one important thing is to, if my building has a fire department connection, is to provide the best access to that fire department connection. So a fire department connection is, um, essentially a connection into a sprinkler system or a standpipe system, which allows the fire department to pump water and, and additional water into a sprinkler system or a standpipe system. So in order to talk about this a little bit, I'm gonna utilize the direct navigation feature of Link. So we're gonna go ahead and go into direct and I know what piece of equipment I have and it is my fire department connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my fire department connection and we have a situation right here that covers fire department connections. So I have a picture here. This kind of shows you basically what a fire department connection is. It's inlet hose connections that the fire department can connect right up to and pump water into um, either a sprinkler system or a standpipe system or some other fire protection system in my building. And it's important to provide access to the fire department. So I'm gonna talk about the two uh, most important solutions here when it comes to providing access. And the first one is providing uh, an obstruction, obstruct, unobstructed view of this fire department connection. So let's go ahead and click on the solution and see what, it, what it's talking about. And it's basically saying here that obstructions must not be kept or placed near a fire department inlet connection in a manner that would prevent the equipment from being immediately visible and accessible. So basically, I don't want to be storing garbage cans or parking cars in front of the fire department connections in a way that the fire department isn't able to immediately see where it is. And if I wanted to look into that requirement a little bit more, NFPA 1, the fire code, provides those requirements in Chapter 13. But let's go back real quick. So we're back at the situation here. And the other thing that I want to talk about real quick is... First of all, just providing an obstruct, uh, unobstructed view of that fire department connection. But the other one is providing clear space around that fire department connection. So just looking at the image, we see here that I need to provide a 36 inch or 915 millimeter clear space around that fire department connection. But let's take a look here at the solution a little bit more in detail and just see where that requirement is. We see again here, a minimum of 36 inches or 915 millimeters of clear space needs to be maintained to permit access and operation of that inlet connection. And again, we go into chapter 13 of NFPA 1, which is the fire code, and it provides that requirement there. And providing that clear space is crucial because, okay, if the fire department can see the fire department connection, that's one thing, but if they're not able to actually get to it and utilize it, then it, it doesn't actually provide much for that fire department. So we, we need to be able to provide an accessible area around that fire department connection. So I hope that that was able to provide a little bit of insight on the importance of maintaining access to fire department connections and a little bit about some of the main things that need to be provided when we're providing that access. And again, if you get into that direct scenario, it's gonna provide you a lot more requirements about um, providing that access and, and some of the design requirements as well in those fire department connections. If you want more information on how you can get into NFPA link and maybe even take a look at that direct scenario to learn a little bit more, go ahead and visit www.nfpa.org link.